Hey team, welcome to stage two of our portrait. So what we did last week was we measured all the proportions, we got our rules of thirds, and we figured out how big they are on the person. Then we translated that onto our paper, and now we have a grid that will help us draw the rest of our portrait perfectly. So what we want to look at today is the outline of the face, the outline of some of the details and the shadows so that next week we can start to shade. So grab your pencils and let's get started. Okay, so I'm fairly happy with the grid. It's not like a perfectly neat um, rectangle, which is absolutely fine because all I want to do is use this as a way to draw the rest of my face. So I'm remembering that inside the top we have the forehead, then inside here we have the eyebrows and the eyes and the bottom of the nose, and then inside here we have the mouth. So what I can do is just draw a few lines um, to represent the middle of the mouth and the middle of the pupils. So let's measure that and try and figure that out. So grab a pencil to measure and I'm going to start at the bottom so if I pop my pencil on the nose and then grab my thumb and find the middle of the mouth I can transfer that across and there we have the middle of the mouth so a lot of times when you're doing this you're like hmm this doesn't feel right but if you measured it you have to trust the system and you will get there. So the eyes are always tricky because there's no real anchor for the eyebrows. You could uh, have measured the top, but I like to go from the middle. So in that case, I'll take my pencil across, get my measurement for the iris, which is very tricky to move over. And there we have it. So this already kind of looks like a face. Maybe I'm just... <laughs> being a bit imaginative here um, but we now have a place for the eyes and the mouth and we just have to trust that everything fits within these sections so what I want to do now is just start to get some of the bone structure it might not be perfect which is fine but at least I can just get some um, some way of making this look more like a face rather than a rectangle so I'm going to start in the bottom third, and if I go across, remembering that my box basically is down here, so it comes from this edge, then I can see that there's a lot of negative space there, so roughly I'm just going to pop a little marker here, and try and think of the direction of that line, so if I pop my pencil in there, you can see that it goes in this direction. And then for the chin, the jaw, sorry, that will kind of go across there. Oh, could use that as a rule. That's handy. And then we want to softly, softly join that as well as joining it on the chin. So we'll go across here and then check this angle. So actually the right side of the face looks a little bit rounder. And then oh, could be a little too far across, but let's see. Um, okay, so then if I move up, so everything's kind of edging towards there, and then over on this side. Ah, that seems crazy. All right, let me maybe bring that across a bit. Fab, and then I want to go up to here and start in the hairline, so this does it go in a bit? Oh, no, it does go out a bit, actually. And then around here. Uh, it joins a bit too soon, so maybe let's bring that down. And it's a bit of a vague hairline anyway, so I'm not going to stress too much about that. And then bring that down here. <laughs> it definitely does look weird to a brain. Good, that'll do. And you see how rough I'm being? I'm not stress too much about perfection. All I'm doing is trying to get something on there that looks kind of okay. So from here, what I want to do is start to draw the features. So I think the nose is always a good place to start. Usually this is within the center, especially if the face is pointing towards you. The uh, septum and the monobrow, <laughs> I don't know if I can call that, um, should be on the same plane because they're both touching the face at the same point. So, all I'm going to do is just start to think about 
the shape of the black nostrils in there. And then if I go to the right, left side, sorry, bring that across and then bring this out a little bit and then bring that out. So I'm trying to just outline the nose. I think that's actually way too wide. And I can see that because if I compare like the right side of the face to the nose, <laughs> it's way too big. So I'm actually, let me measure this. So I'm taking the size of the cheek and then putting that across. You see the nose is like significantly smaller. So it's either that I've um, drawn my cheek not wide enough, which I don't think is true because of the negative space there, or I've done my nose too wide. So it's probably that one. So. I'm going to start again. Uh, so, bring that. Why am I using my 3B? I keep getting mixed up with which pencil I'm measuring with and which one I'm drawing with. Okay. Feels a little bit better. Good. And the thing is, you're probably going to put something on and then measure it and then just change things all the time, which I think is the best way to learn. So, do it first and then see what you think. And you'll, you'll learn so much more by checking, changing, and not being afraid to redo things. So I'm going up the nose here and into the eyebrow because this is a dark shadow. So actually that's going to end up um, being a block shade anyway. So you can go up to the eyebrow eyebrow blends in with the eye so I'm not going to bother drawing the bottom instead I want to draw this shadow that comes up here and then that goes into the hair so it looks very weird and it shouldn't look like Cara Delevingne at all for a while um so that's actually not straight there we go so we're looking for the simplest version of her okay so let's get the top of the eyelid i can see that but it disappears into there and then i have the top of the eye so you're always checking the top of the eye versus the bottom of the eye so the bottom of the eye isn't the same shape this pupil line this straight line that goes through it shows you two different lines it shows you the curve that goes above and the curve that goes underneath and they're always always very very different a lot of people draw these weird like almond shapes which just they're not quite an eye so just bear that in mind when you are drawing so the left side is much more difficult because we don't have any um markers but what we do have is the edge of the nose. So if the edge of the nose had a straight line going up here, you can see that the tear duct is in line with it. And that's not quite the same on this side, but it is on the right side. So I know from here, there's my tear duct. And then I can go up from there and check the angle of this line. Go across. And then check the line underneath. When you're drawing your eyes, they aren't as big as what you imagine. Um, the actual eye itself is quite small. And the reason why they look so big is because of makeup or eyelashes, the rim of the eyelid and the eyebrow. So when you're drawing your eye, make sure you don't draw it too big or else it looks weird and scary. It might feel small, but that's probably accurate. So I get the rough shape of the eye. I'm always checking the distance between the eyelid and the eyebrow. And then let's get some lips on here. So there's a bit of a shadow actually that comes down here. And then we have ooh, top lip maybe a little bit higher because her mouth is open. This is the middle part of the mouth, but we have a gap. So I need to decide whether my gap is above or below my line. The bottom lip has a curve going down. So then that needs to be closer. And then that needs to go down from there. Um, that's okay. And then let's pop some eyes in. So you don't 
see the full circle. There's always some of the circle that's chopped off. And then we could pop the iris and reflection. Iris and reflection. Fab. And then for my final part, I just want to draw some of the shadows. So we've got an underneath lid here. So I'm just looking for the darkest shadows and I'm trying to see how far they are away from the nose and then the shadow under the chin and then there's a bit of a shadow over here, not much. There's a shadow in there and there's a shadow under her eye and then I've got that. Da, 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 da. Let's just add an ear on. So the ear is slightly above the nose. So there's the nose, the ears here. I can come out with the grid, that's fine. And then on this side, it's the same. And then she has some hair. Well, let's just get like some of that on there as well. So I feel like I do want to pull that in a little bit. Okay. If you'd like the downloads, remember, head on over to Patreon and you can pay just £3 a month to get extra content and more access to the videos. Also, it does help support small artists like me. Right, so at this stage, we have created a monster. It doesn't look like Cara Delevingne, and it shouldn't, but it should be accurate. So what you can do at this stage is you can check your measurements, you check against the artwork, and then compare it against your own and see whether they are in the right place. I'm going to do that on mine, so I'm probably going to spend another 10 minutes checking for it, and I'll do it in a time lapse so you can see what I'm, uh, what I'm aiming for. Um, so next week we're going to look at our shading and it's going to look really, really good. So be patient with yourself, trust the system, and let's just see what happens. All right, team, see you next week.